Welcome everybody. We have Susie and Jose here today, so I'm just going to let them take it away. Here you go. Go ahead, Susie. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to G for Geography. We're back. And today is Thursday, the 17th of December. We're almost at Christmas, right, Jose? That's right. We're almost at Christmas. I want to say welcome to uh, the Evolution family and all the agents in Mexico, Australia, New Zealand, and the United States. Uh, we're continuing our new focus series here on sea and sun locations, and uh, we're, you know, to assist you with your holiday and winter bookings. Um, and today we're going to concentrate on, focus on Hawaii, specifically Oahu, Maui, Kauai, and the Big Island of Hawaii now. Susie and I were just talking before the, before we started, you know, the islands are open, okay? But be careful here because entry requirements are changing constantly. And even, you know, like, I think it's Kauai, right, Susie, that you said that's got the 14 day, even with the COVID yeah. test? Yeah. Kauai's right. got the 14 day COVID test still at this time. It is so, the only so island right now. Yeah. Even if you have the COVID test and you go to Kauai, you still have quarantine for 14 days. So make sure you get this information to your clients, um, you know, get, get, get them this information. And also don't forget that if you are going to Hawaii, your, your clients have to be registered with the state health department. They will get. They will send you that information. the The airports, uh, the airports, the airlines will give you the link for that because you have to be registered with them to enter into the islands before you go there. So let's do that. All right. So let's get to it. Right. All okay. Right, so we're gonna go to. We got um. I did for the day. Your current. Your PowerPoint. We're gonna go right to G. Yeah. Let's go. Here it is. All right. Okay. Like Jose said, we're covering the islands of Hawaii today. And we're going to be doing the four major islands, even though there's two more other ones, but uh, the four that we're going to do. Of course, we got always the map of the world, um, North America, which we're going to go and then west to there. And there we are in the Pacific Ocean, in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is the islands of Hawaii. Um, we've got Kauai, Oahu, Molokai, Maui. Um, and then the big island of Hawaii. So um, we're just covering the four islands, Kauai, Oahu, Maui, and Hawaii today. Okay. Now, you know, Susie, let's talk a little bit about, I, I know they're not doing this now, but how do you cruise these islands? Okay. And let, let, let's, because you can do that when the cruises come back. Now, I know that they used to have <clears throat> from like San Francisco to Hawaii was like a seven nighter, but you were o only on the ocean, right? The only way you're going to go from the west coast to the islands is going to be on a 14 day. It's going to be either out of Los Angeles or San Diego. It is a 14 day. So it would be from the west coast. You have about almost five days at sea by the time you get to the first island, almost four and a half to five days at sea. And it goes to the islands of Kauai. It, it starts in Oahu and it will go to Kauai, Maui, and then to the big island. If yeah. you don't want to do a 14 day, Norwegian has just a seven day. It's out of Honolulu. It's a seven day sailing out of Oahu and it does the four islands. And the only cruise line right now that's doing it is Norwegian. Right. And that's a good, that's a good seller. And that's a great way to see the islands too. It's, it's, it's really fun that way because yeah. they've got the whole ship is in the Hawaiian mode. They've got the Hawaiian dancers. Um, this is really also good for kids because they do some arts and crafts and they give them history on the islands and they teach them how to make lays and do the hukilau and all kinds of things. So I think if you want to do all four islands for your very first time and I would do a cruise and then pick an island that you really like and go back and spend more time there. These islands are very close together. Just for your information, you can't just get on some type of a launch or a catamaran or something and go from one island to the other. They did that years ago, but they stopped doing it. You can fly from island to island. Um, it's about a 20 minute flight. 
but that's real easy to do. And in a week, you can do two islands. There's no problem at all. That's real easy. Okay. So I guess we'll go to the first island we're going to talk about. And that's going to be the island of Kauai. Um, Kauai is called the Garden Island. And for good reason, it's the island that gets the most amount of rain. It is really lush, really green. It's very tropical and beautiful here. This happens to be my favorite island. It's very quiet. We've got some really beautiful beaches here. So the um, airport that you would fly into um, would be to Lahui Airport. And south of Lahui is Poipu, which is probably the most popular beaches and some of the nicest beaches. If you go up north from the airport from um, Lahui, you'd be looking at Kapa, Wailua. That's where the Wailua River is. For those of you that know um, the Fern Grotto, that's where Elvis Presley sings um, the Hawaiian wedding song. So if you do this for a tour, it's very touching because you go on the Wailua River, then you climb up to um, Fern Grotto where the ferns, they grow upside down in this grotto. It's pretty spectacular. It's very touching and they do the Hawaiian wedding song there. Okay, good, now you, just, you, you touched on something really important. You said that this island gets a lot of rain, right? Yes. Okay, Quite so one of the things when you book this for your clients is find out when the rainy season is in Hawaii because they do have that. And sometimes they even get hurricanes. So, you know, you guys know how I'm a big, big, you know. Uh, hurricane fan. You know, hurricane <laughs> fan, but weather fan. I mean, I tell you guys to really monitor that. So make sure before you do the booking, you know, let's say they want to go in October, go to the internet, find out when the rainy season is in Hawaii because you don't want your clients going there. They're expecting sea and, sea and sun and what they're getting is just clouds and rain and stuff. So here we go. Here's the next one. Okay, so here's, uh, this is Poifu Beach. This is where most of your uh, hotels are located here. This is also, as far as I think, one of the prettiest beaches and also the most swimmable beach. You've got some, we've been doing, I want to go back a little bit. We've been doing all inclusive destinations previously. Um, this is, Hawaii does not really have any all inclusives. Uh, they did for years ago, but it stopped. It's not it's really not worth it because you're going to see there's a lot of little restaurants here, a lot of local places to go. Um, this is this is very kicked back, very quiet here. So Poipu Beach is the more important one. These are where the hotels are located. They have the Sheridan Kauai here, um, the Poipu, the Kiahuna Beach Plantation. Those are all condos. Um, one of the things is um, is missing a little bit north of where the Sheridan, I'm sorry, going the other way, where Brennecke Beach is. There's that beautiful Hyatt there, and I would highly recommend that's probably one of the nicest hotels on the island. So Kauai is over on the Poipu Beach side, okay? We can go over to the next one. Next. Here's slide. some pictures. Look at that. It is beautiful. This is a very swimmable beach. It's a pretty, pretty island. Um, just for a little information, quite a few movies have been filmed on this island. Uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean have been filmed here, The Descendants with George Clooney, Avatar, uh, just to name a few. So this island is used a lot for quite a bit of filming. Jurassic Park. Island. Jurassic, Jurassic Park, Park is good. Correct. So you can see how green this island is, the waterfalls. It's, it's really beautiful. Okay, good. we're going to, whoops, there we go. Um, again, see how green it is, and that is because of the amount of rainfall that the next island we're going to is Oahu. When people say they want to go to Hawaii, please be sure you understand Oahu is the name of the island and the two cities there that you'll be talking about. And people say, I want to go to Honolulu or Waikiki Beach. So they're not going to the island of Honolulu and they're not going to the island of Waikiki. They're going to the island of Oahu. And some people say, I want to go to the big island. We'll get to that later. That is an island in its own. So you would fly into Honolulu, Waikiki Beach, Diamond Head, um, Coco Head. This is the most popular island. Everybody goes here first. Uh, it has probably some of the best nightlife. Some of the most beautiful hotels are here. Um, Oahu is called the Gathering Place. It's the third largest island in the island chain. Um, and it is known best for nightlife. There's more things to do here than any of the other islands. The other islands are very islandy, islandy. This one has island feel, but it's got more of the, you know, the hotel, there's a whole row of hotels. So when you fly into Oahu, you're just like, oh my gosh, it looks like Waikiki Beach. But once you get outside of the city, um, there's, it's called upcountry. There's some really pretty places up here. Sunset Beach, 
uh, Bonsai Pipeline. That's where some of the best surfers are. We'll live up with 10 foot waves there. There's uh, the National Surfing Championship heads up in Pipeline up here. This island's got so much to do and it's very diversified. Also, this is where Pearl Harbor is. And I highly suggest if this is your first time and you're sending customers here, um, please do Pearl Harbor. It's a, a really interesting and it's a lot of history. Okay, this is a really good uh, map of Honolulu. It's a very busy place. Can you see all these highways? Highway 1, 78. Seven, when you drive here, you're like, oh my God, you got to be kidding. How am I going it, to? It's really crazy because it's so busy. But some of the best hotels are here. Um, where the Aloha Tower is, which is down off of Nimitz Highways, that's where the ships come in. You've got the Alma Wada Shopping Center. You've got Diamond Hood. Um, these are where the best hotels are. You've got the Holly Kalani, the Sheridan. Uh, there's a couple of outrigger properties here. Also, if you go a little further right outside of Waikiki, if your people don't want that much um, a hotel that's that expensive, you can stay like a little bit outside of Waikiki and have some really still nice hotels and be more on a budget. And there's also, um, there's we call, they call it the Wiki Wiki bus. It's this cute little yellow bus that goes up and down Kawakawa Boulevard, which is the main drag there. So if you're a little bit outside of the city, you this is fine to get around. Also, I do not recommend you have a car here. Um, every resort is going to charge you parking and on um, beside that, it's all valet. You cannot self park any place uh, where the hotels are located here. So please, and, and I would do guess not that get the, a car. And I guess the gas would be rather expensive too. Gas you know? is very expensive here, right? So when you do a package for somebody, make sure that you include the transfers. The other islands, it's different. You need a car in the other islands because there is no public transportation. Um, again, if you look at this this map up, if you go toward um, Lani Kai. These are some of the prettiest beaches up here. They're very secluded. So if you want to rent a car for a day and go to the other side of the island, I would just rent the car for the day from the hotel. They'll be glad to get you a car rental from any of the major um, car rental companies. Use the car for the day, go around the island. Um, you can go up where they used to film Magnum PI, the real one with Tom Selleck. And if you're lucky, maybe he'll be there and ask you in for coffee. Next. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay. All right. And here's here's the little bit closer of it. Oh, this is good. You can see there's Waikiki West, Waikiki Central, Waikiki East. The main drag here is Kawakawa Avenue. And I don't have a pointer, but that's where all the big hotels are there. So like I was saying, if you stay up in Waikiki West, you're going to be a little bit further out. It's not that bad, but you're going to have a better budget more budget hotels there to offer your customers if they don't want all the real high-end ones um busy city lots to do lots of restaurants and lots of nightlife Waikiki is busy busy okay. um i think this is one of the bays where you go snorkeling i think that's yeah that Hamana. is that's hamana i think it's hamana bay is that what it's um, you can see there's a lot of coral here. Oh, all right. This is where all this is being Waikiki. These are you can see all the hotels here. But this is a really good beach. It is, it's crowded sometimes. It's popular. But if you want somebody who stays right in the middle of the city in the Waikiki area, this is where you're going to put them. The Holly Kalani, the Sheridan, the Outrigger, um, the Princess Kailani, all the iconic, beautiful hotels are right on the stretch of beach. Look yep. how blue that water is. Look how blue that water is. It is. And it's very swimmable. It's not, um, it doesn't get real wavy and difficult to swim in. So it's a really good beach to swim in. And the water is um, fairly warm here, surprisingly. Okay, good. Next. There's Waikiki. Right. There's Waikiki Beach again. Whoa, where are we going? <laughs> Next island we're going to visit is the island of Maui. Okay, this is probably one of the most popular islands for families. Uh, I would say the first time that people go to Hawaii, they usually do um, Oahu and then do Maui as a secondary one. Um, um, Maui is um, the second largest island in the Hawaiian chain. It's also called the Valley Isle. Um, there's a couple places here. You would fly into, where's the airport here? I just lost it. Um, where's there no airport here? There isn't, I'm kidding. It should be right over here. Isn't that up in the in, in the center I'm there? I'm looking. I don't even see it. No, it's right up there in Kalu, uh, 
Kuali Bay? Oh, there it is. It's Kahului. Kahului. <laughs> okay, you fly, into, <laughs> you fly into Kahului. That's the main airport there. And um, if you go around to the north side, um, that's where you're going to be to Kanapali, Lahaina, Kapalua Bay. Um, and then the newer area in um, the island of Maui is down in Wailea. There's some very high end hotels there. You've got a Four Seasons, the Grand Wailea. Uh, the Fairmont and McKenna Beach is here. That's a more um, upscale area. Mostly everybody goes to Lahaina, which is the old um, fishing village. And the majority of the hotels are in the Kalapali Beach area. These are your Hyatt, your Outriggers. Uh, there's a beautiful uh, Western Maui here. This beach is beautiful and it's really swimmable. This is also during certain times of the year when the whales migrate, they come right along this area. Um, where the Kanapali Lahaina area is. So this island is very beautiful. Um, it is, I think, the second most popular island um, after Oahu. Also, a lot of people say they want to go to the road to Hana. Think about that before you do it. It's a long ride. It's a two-lane highway. It's a little windy. This is the main part of Maui. As you can see, these are where the big hotels, the Aston Kanapali Shores, Embassy Suites. The West End, also the West End has two new buildings that they just um, recently completed. This is probably one of the most popular hotels there. You've got the Royal Lahaina. Lahaina is about four and a half miles from Kanapali. So, and the Kahului Airport is about 20 miles, 25 miles um, into Kanapali or Lahaina. When you're sending people in there, please know that this is just a two-lane highway and it can take, if it's 20 miles, it could take you 45 minutes to an hour because if the flights all arrive about the same time, it, that's, that, street, that highway gets pretty, pretty crowded. So just tell them to take their time. Here's downtown Lahaina. Lahaina, again, is the old fishing village. It's not as popular as it used to be, but there's a lot of shopping and thing here. There's the wharf. Um, there's the plantation in. This is a very different feel here. These are smaller type boutique hotels. Uh, probably not as not as popular as Canapali Beach is, but it's the old fishing village. It's really kind of fun to go to, and it's a lot of interesting shops and things here. Okay. Yeah. So we go to the there we are. Again, look how beautiful the beaches are here. Um, I think Hawaii is one of my favorite destinations for a lot of reasons. I like they take your American dollar. They've got some really nice restaurants. The people are super friendly here. Their tourism is their life. Um, they don't have a lot else going on here and they take great pride in their heritage. Okay, again, here we go. The Maui part, that's the Kanapali Beach. Look at the great beach, look at the water here again. You just can't go wrong. There's some great snorkeling here. So if you're a a border or if you want to ride catamaran but these the coral reefs here are pretty nice you can if you're a snorkeler it's got a lot going on here and you can see the weather here uh this is a pretty typical day in maui the white puffy clouds the clear sky uh, they probably have the best weather uh, year round and not so much rain okay the last island we're going to go to is the big island so like we started off saying, be careful when somebody says, I want to go to the Big Island. There really is something called the Big Island. It's the island of Hawaii. Um, you would fly into Kona is the main airport here. I know it shows Hilo on this map. Um, Hilo used to be the only airport years ago, but you can still fly in there. But there's not much up in Hilo. All the big, big hotels are in the Kona area. So you would fly into Kona. You would go up to the Waikoloa Beach area. This island's also the, um, it's the largest island in the Hawaiian change. It also has two active volcanoes oh. um, on this island. So you can go up to Volcano National Park. This island, like the other islands except Oahu, please rent a car. Um, just so you know, the big island, <clears throat> from one end to the other, you can have three changes of temperature. It gets very cold up toward the north, then it gets windy, then it gets rainy. But just so you know, this island gets the least amount of rain and the average temperature year round here is about 84. So if temperature is important to you, this one, least amount of rain, 
um, but you've got multiple, you know, climates going on here when you drive around the island. This island has also got the Black Sand Beach, um, the Hawaiian, the Volcano National Park, again, like I said, really interesting to see if you have no idea what a volcano looks like. Also, this is a great place to take a helicopter ride. Here's the main part. You fly into Kahalua, um, Kailua, Kona. Kona Town is, again, a very old, it's an old fishing village town. There's some wooden sidewalks. It's funny here, it's kind of like it's wooden sidewalks here. Um, there's not a lot of hotels in the main Kona area. There's the old uh, Kona, Kona Beach Hotel. Um, not a lot here, more for tourists. It's got a lot of shops. A real, some unusual art type things are in this area because there's a lot of history here because this is where Ali, Ali Drive is. And here's the big island of Hawaii. You can see it's much different terrain. Not a lot of swimmable beaches here. One of the only places that is swimmable is why you need to go up to Waikoloa. Um, the island where Kona is, this is all cliffs and this is not, you can see there's hardly any sand. When you're in Kona, you just literally go into deep water right away. You go from a little bit of sand into very deep water. So if beach is something you want for swimmable, you need to go up into the Waikoloa area would be my suggestion. Island's pretty. A lot of history here, and look at this. Very cool. See, right, so it's got different different terrain here. All right, so there, there, there are the four islands that we've talked about. Now we have this great video that we want to share with you, and um, <clears throat> it's in 4K HD. It's about the island of Maui. Please roll it, Amanda. Maui is the second largest island in Hawaii, but fewer than 150,000 people call it home, and you can drive from one side of the island to the other in less than three hours. Many say that Maui is Hawaii's most beautiful island, and when you tour around, you soon see why. In this North Pacific Island paradise, Polynesian heritage and the modern American lifestyle go hand in hand. Book a helicopter ride to get a bird's eye view of this lush landscape that sprouted up from the fertile lava soil. People call this the Valley Isle because most of Maui sits in a bowl between the East and West Maui volcanoes that shape the island. Thanks to the tropical climate and more than 80 beaches, you can enjoy water sports all around this sunny island. When the trade winds pick up, there are plenty of bars, shops, galleries and museums to keep you entertained. Maui's capital city, Wailuku, combines history with soul. Rent a car to enjoy the famous drive to Hana, which can be a return trip or the start of a spectacular journey around the island. The winding road will take you past some of Maui's most striking natural wonders. Stretch your legs at a waterfall and pick up a Hawaiian treat along the way. Cast a line and see surfers compete to steal the show at Ho'okipa Beach Park. Spend an hour in the Garden of Eden Arboretum, a bamboo forest with great vistas. On the other side of Hana is Haleakala National Park with the highest peak on the island. It's a hot spot for hiking, so put on your all-weather gear and follow the trails past impressive cinder cones. To avoid the steep climb, drive straight to the lookout to enjoy the views. The dormant volcano slopes down to the sunny beaches on the west coast of Maui. Big Beach in McKenna Beach State Park is the perfect spot to try wakeboarding. At sunset, the Molokini Island Preserve is painted dark against the evening sky. And when the sun comes out, the water surrounding it is amazingly clear. Book a boat tour and dive in to spot Hawaii's green turtles feeding on the coral of Molokini Reef. You can also see these gentle marine creatures from Maui's shore at Turtle Town, as Maluaka Beach is often called, or find a spot in the shade to enjoy the afternoon. 
Enjoy a resort stay with the family at nearby Wailea Beach or continue north to Kihei to learn how to surf. The oceanfront town has affordable accommodation, shops and food, so it's an ideal place to stop for a few days. One of the prettiest towns in Maui is Lahaina in the northwest. This historic center is bustling year-round and attracts whale watchers in winter. Visit galleries and museums or shop for souvenirs under the shade of an ancient banyan tree. There is no better place to end your tour of Maui than Ka'anapali Beach. This high-end beach resort combines everything Maui has to offer. Sunshine, comfort, magnificent beaches and culture. This lush island retreat has it all. So take the plunge, splash out, and set out to explore Maui. Hey, thanks for joining us for that video. And we're back with Jose and Susie. Jose, Susie, uh, how are you going to book Hawaii? Okay, so here's where you can book it. You can Again, you can book it in VAX, Blue Sky Tours, FunJet, United American. And Susie, am I, am I right? Last year, Southwest started flying to Hawaii, right? Out of, out of San Francisco? Out, well, out of some cities, yeah. So check um, um, Southwest. Is, yes, yes. You're a little, are you a little louder than earlier? Are you sitting closer? What happened? Maybe I'm saying culture. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Southwest does have service from certain cities. They started last year. So check again at the Southwest vacations that might be going from the city that you're taking them from. And you also have travel uh, impressions, Apple vacations, pleasant holidays, Delta vacations, Vacation Express. Now, all of these suppliers usually have some sort of deal. Oh, also, uh, you know, check Blue Sky Tours. They're, they are specialists in going to Hawaii and, and the Pacific Islands. A lot of these uh, suppliers and vendors have specials and deals that you can offer your clients to go to Hawaii with. So look into that, all right? When you're booking this, don't just book it, you know, don't just book it, see if there's a deal, go to deals and promotions and all these websites and you'll be able to offer some really, some nice perks for your clients and customers. And, yeah, and some of the other things is, because there's not all inclusive here, a lot of these hotels are offering daily buffet breakfast, which breakfast there, I'm gonna be honest with you, can cost you about, 25 to 30 dollars in some of the hotels so look to see if they have any specials either some dining credits or daily breakfast if you start with a really nice breakfast at some of these hotels you might only have to have maybe a snack in the afternoon so um i do know a lot of the hotels are running those kind of, of perks so that you can offer them to your clients also please keep in mind that if you're not really familiar with these islands the hawaii tourist board is very happy to provide you with some materials that, that they have. There's some really nice maps. There's a book that they have from the tourist bureau. It's called The Islands of Hawaii. And it's a beautiful book. And it tells you all about the things to do and see in the island and give you a really good feel uh, so that you get a sense of what it is that you're selling to your customer. This is an easy sell. Those of you that, I don't even if you're from, the, especially if you're from the Midwest or the West Coast, the East Coast is gonna be a little bit harder because of the flight. But for a first time destination to a resort, something tropical, I would highly recommend that you use South Hawaii. It's well worth it and you will and it's be- beautiful. It's it is beautiful, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. It is stunningly beautiful. And, and, it's, and it's a doable thing and you don't need a passport. It's part of the United States. You can go there and have really, really a good time. Also, uh, if you have anybody that's a golfer, there's some beautiful golf courses on these islands. So it has, again, a little bit for everybody. Perfect. We have some questions. Is, is it a good time to ask them? Sure. Yeah. Okay. First question is from Jamie. Jamie is asking, are there typically resort taxes on top of room rates? Yes. Right now there is. Almost every hotel has some type of resort fee. Those cannot be paid ahead of time unless they've changed. But when you go to book this as some of your suppliers, it will tell you. It's very specific that there's a daily resort fee per room. So and, and I, and let your person know. Yeah, and on top of that, you'll probably have a hotel tax that you got to pay on top of that too. So, like from the city or 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 you know island or whatever. Um, yeah. All right. What's the next question? Uh, next question: um, Is this being recorded? 
I, I, yeah, well, you, you can, can always go back can, and review this. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're in here. See. They'll be here on this Facebook page, and you can also review them in YouTube uh, out, of the, out of the Travel Cafe. You can go in there and, and review that there. Any of the videos that we've done through the years um, have are, are available for you to look at. That's right. Perfect. Is that it? We're gone, but not forgotten. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, they, we do have YouTube playlists and they're on the Travel Cafe website. You just go to webinars and trainings or trainings and webinars and you'll you'll find them right there. Um, that looks like the last question for now. Um, if there's any more, I'll let you guys know, but I'll let you wrap it up however right. you'd like. Susie, you want to wrap it up? And then I, and then I want to say a couple of things. Yeah. Um, again, we want to thank you for joining us. Please know that travel is coming back. Um, I actually myself took um, four bookings today for the month of February to go to Mexico, all inclusive. So it looks like maybe some of the G for geography and some of the information we provide you with, it is hitting home. People are booking. So we're glad. I know this has been a difficult year, but you know what? We are survivors and this is our business and people need to get out and they will get out. And I want to thank you all again for joining us. I hope you have a wonderful week. I don't know if we're back next week. I don't know what the schedule is. Um, are we're we not. on or off? Um, no, this off. is it, Susie. This, this is okay. going to be our last one. So this happy one. holidays to all of you. Stay safe. And we're all looking forward to a better 2021. Thank you again, Jose. You got um, sign off. Before Amanda Jose says. goes, uh, we have one more question. Oh, okay. um, what website should we use to book tours? Um, Oh, yeah. What website should we use to book tours? Sorry, I was reading Ple a comment. Okay, Pleasant Holidays have an actual site you can, when you book the hotel, even if you don't want to book anything else on their site, uh, as far as hotel or air, they do have, it's called Pleasant Activities, and they can say you luau's, um, zip lining, um, you name it, they can do all, all that. Tours. Yeah, all those activities you can book on, uh, on the majority of these sites, too. So, um, all right, you guys, this is it for the year. Um, I know it's been a weird year. I, I, we weren't expecting this, um, this remote stuff that we've been doing, but, but, but we wanted to get this information out there to you. It's been a really weird year. I know we've gone to the lake. We've gone to places in Los Angeles. Um, so next year should be even better. We're looking forward to that. Um, from the Archer family, uh, from all of us here at, at, at Archer Travel, Ron Archer, Jill Archer, Reggie, uh, the entire staff, the agents, Peggy, Susie, Violet, Dave, uh, Amanda, Krista, um, am I missing anybody? Uh, Rhonda, um, who else? Am I missing anybody? Uh, Edder. Edder, Edder. <laughs> and and Edder. the staff in Las Vegas. We wish Ed. you all a real great happy holidays. Now listen, you guys, and I always used to say this when I was out by the lake. Our two priorities are two things, the safety of our agents and the safety of your clients. So please be safe this holiday season and we'll see you guys back in January. All right, well, we'll come back the first week in January. I promise you, all right? Happy holidays, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye.